occasionally you will find that you have to seam um, a bound off or a cast on edge of your knitting to the side edge of another piece of knitting so that your your knitting is going this way in one direction and then this way in the other direction. Um, it doesn't happen super often in garments necessarily, but if you ever get into toy making or sometimes in blankets, you'll come across this. And it is its own special blend of mattress stitch. Um, what I would recommend if you haven't already done so is to take a look at our two videos on doing mattress stitch um, with these edges together and mattress stitch with the side edges together so that you have a basis for how to do it um, because this is going to blend those two techniques. And so what you'll do is for the side edge that you're going to be seaming up, just like you would normally do for your side edge, you're going to pull this apart and go right past your selvage edge and pick up that bar just like normal and then on your cast on edge you're going to pick up your V, your pointed V stitch just like normal. You're just blending these two techniques together so there's nothing really particularly fancy about this it's just when you're on a side edge you you pick up the bar and when you're on the cast on or bound off edge you pick up the pointed V stitch. However, here's the trick. Um, I've, so I've picked up two. I'll pick up my third bar and my third V. The trick here is that knit stitches are wider than they are tall. And so you can't just do a one-to-one -one ratio here. You can't pick up every V and every bar and, and have it be nice and flat. This is going to start to scrunch up and pucker. Um, so the, the ratio that you should keep in mind is three out of four. So you'll pick up every V on this edge, but on this guy you'll pick up three bars You'll skip the fourth bar, so there's my fourth one just above, right there. I'm going to skip that one and I'm going to go and pick up this one instead. So there's nothing really, you know, difficult about this. You just have to remember that you're going to be doing every V and now every skip every fourth bar on the side edge. And that is the trick to that. And once you've got that seamed up, it should, you should end up with, well I haven't pulled it very nicely, but you should end up with a very clean 90 degree corner.